Battle Bit Remastered is one of the best games to be released in a while. And I'm not just talking in the shooter category either. This game is just really good. Of course, when it comes to shooters, we have not had the best of luck as of recent. Halo Infinite was a dumpster fire. Battlefield 2042 was a crapshoot. And Call of Duty is just Call of Duty. It's not really good nor bad. It's just kind of Call of Duty. So Battle Bit Remastered is a breath of fresh air. You also don't have a bunch of stupid microtransactions in the game. That's a huge plus in my book. And the gameplay is actually just really fun. It's also really fun to play with friends or just play alone. You don't really have to play with people you already know to have a good time in this game because everyone uses the voice chat. It's on by default on death, which some people might not like, but it has made the game so much more entertaining because you will kill people and you will hear them scream. And then whenever somebody goes down on your team, they just start screaming medic or acting like they're actually dying. It is a good time. I really like the voice chat in this game. And I'm going to address the elephant in the room, which is the graphics. I have seen some people say the graphics are really bad. And yeah, it's not like a super pretty looking game, but that's not what it's trying to be. My take with graphics in games is I don't care as long as the style they're going for looks good. And this game looks good. They're going for a low poly style. It says it in the description of the game and they nail it. It doesn't look bad for what they're trying to do. If you don't like that about the game, that's fine. Just don't play it. It's like, it's up to you, right? But I think when people say bad graphics, they're not talking about stuff like this. They're talking about Pokemon because the new Pokemon to the Switch, they go for this art style that's more like Zelda and then it comes out looking awful. My biggest gripe with the Pokemon games is they tried to do all these shaders and everything and it just looks awful. Their own trailers don't have shadows half the time. The Pokemon games are trying to achieve a high fidelity graphic style and aren't anywhere near it. That's why I don't like the new Pokemon graphics. They just look bad for what they're trying to do. But Battle Bit is unapologetically a low poly shooter. I heard lots of people say it's like Roblox and yeah, it looks like Roblox, but it's on Steam. It's a $15 game on Steam. It is not a Roblox game. But ultimately, if you don't care about the graphics, this game is fantastic. The vehicles are fun to drive around. I do have one gripe with them though. There's no uh, no clip with the vehicles. So you get stuck on people a lot, especially when you leave spawn. I don't think there should be no clip on vehicles because I think that'd be really weird. But I think they should have designed the maps better from the spawn point when you drive out because literally there's traffic jams. There's traffic jams in this game because people can't drive. After the match starts and you're like five minutes in or so, it, it's fine. There's no issue like that because everyone's already at the point and stuff. But at the very start of the game, it is kind of a hassle to get out of spawn sometimes. I also think there's a good balance between vehicles. There's nothing that's super OP and there's nothing that's super awful. It all feels pretty good. I have driven pretty much everything in the game. The, the Blackhawk helicopter, the, the little helicopter, the tank, the APC, I think is what it's called. The quad bike, the Jeeps, whatever. I've driven all of them. They all drive fine. There's no real issues. It is kind of weird though that I had to start the engine when I get in a vehicle. I don't like that very much. I wish it would just automatically start. It's kind of redundant. That's like a minor gripe with the game. The classes too are just like Battlefield. You have Assault, Medic, Engineer, Support, and Recon. And personally, I play Assault and Recon the most. Uh, Recon has the Sniper and Assault has the Assault Rifle. I really wish Assault had the SMGs as well. I feel like that's kind of like the best class to give every weapon besides the Sniper, of course because I would like to play the Assault Clash and use SMGs, but I, I get why it's not there. If you want to use SMGs, I know the Engineer has them. I'm pretty sure the Medic does too. So it's not the end of the world, but I do wish the Assault Clash had more weapon options because it is the Assault Clash. Its biggest thing is to be a combat machine. But on the topic of weapons, I really, really wish we unlocked weapons a little faster. I have played this game for nearly 15 hours and I have unlocked like two guns. I really wish I unlocked just a few more a little quicker because I want to try new stuff. I get it though, because if it takes me a while to get the gun, I'll play the game more and that's overall good for the game and I'm not super upset that I can't get the guns quicker but like some of these guns are level 150 I really wish that I could just get these guns quicker because I want to try them I do like though that the guns are not class by class unlocked they are your overall level I hate when games make you play a class with the worst gun in the game just to unlock the good gun I hate that with a passion so I am very glad they don't make me do that. But unlocking the guns a little quicker would be nice because I think a lot of people who play this game are not going to be sinking hundreds of hours into this game and they're probably not going to unlock more than half the gun. Not the biggest problem in the world. It would just be nice to unlock them a little quicker. And since we're on the topic of guns still, I don't like that you have to move ammo between mags. Like default, you have to hold down P and then it will move rounds to your mags to fill up the mags completely. I get the idea behind this, but I think again, it's just kind of redundant 
especially since the graphic design is a low poly shooter it's meant to be like arcadey looking so it's kind of weird to have this realism thing in it of like starting the engine and then like reloading your mags it, it's weird again it's not the worst thing in the world and ultimately it was the developer's choice to put this in the game and clearly it has not stopped its success because this game has beat out its all-time player peak every day since launch it has literally just gone up and up and up so clearly this isn't that big of a deal and honestly you usually die if you're not super super good at the game before you even have to do this so it's not the biggest deal in the world but one thing that annoyed me a lot when i started playing but got used to is pulling back the bolt action with mouse one like your firing button once you shoot again this seems just kind of like a redundant thing that i don't really understand why it's in the game apparently there's an attachment you can get later with the sniper that would do this for you and i don't know why that's an attachment that feels kind of weird i really think most people would just like it to do it by default because that's how it works in like every game and it's kind of tedious but it's not the worst thing in the world it's just kind of a minor annoyance and you get used to it when i first started sniping it was really annoying because i would not do it and then i would not have a bullet in my gun and i would die because i didn't have a bullet in my gun when i was shooting at people if this game was more competitive i would care about this a lot more though it's not competitive at least to me it's a very casual game i don't really go into this game going like i'm gonna win this match i'm gonna i'm gonna get so many kills i try to play well but i'm not like tilting if i die it's not that kind of game so it's kind of just a minor annoyance when i have to pull back this little bolt action thing i also wish there was a better indication for enemies in the game or at least better indication of friendlies in the game there's been a lot of instances where i've seen people and they're not obviously friendlies immediately and i thought that was just me getting used to the way the game looks because when you start playing a new game you need to get used to like how the enemies look and how the friendlies look but the issue persisted after like 15 hours i still sometimes have problems determining who's a friendly and who's an enemy i think it's because sometimes little blue arrows on top don't really show up for friendlies which is a little weird and then enemies don't really have an indicator except on their backpack and their helmet it's there's like red it's the only indicator i've noticed for enemies so it's kind of hard sometimes to tell who's a friendly and who's an enemy because the enemies don't have indicators themselves and i don't really think they should have indicators because that would just give away their position at the time but it would be nice if there was more obvious thing for friendlies I don't, I don't know what that would be but i find myself confusing them more than i should especially after playing for like 15 hours this could just be a me problem though maybe my eyes are going even though i already wear glasses to correct my going eyes and i don't really have this issue in other games it also could be because i keep playing on the 127 versus 127 matches that is the game mode i have been exclusively playing so that might be why there's just a lot of people on the map but again it's just a minor annoyance and speaking of the 127 versus 127 players it is seriously impressive how well this game runs with 127 versus 127 players i have had zero issues and i know for a fact this game could run on a potato so if you're worried about your pc not be able to run this game don't it, it could run on a potato literally this game is so well optimized and the graphics are not intense anybody can play this game which is one of the things that's good about it the maps are also really solid i'd say one complaint i have is at the start of games driving tanks through streets kind of sucks but that's really the only complaint with maps i have no real gripes with maps i think they're all pretty good i think if there was something especially annoying about any of the maps i played i would have definitely noticed it but i haven't noticed anything so i'd say the maps are all good and if you do decide to play this game which i think you should by the way i know i'm complaining a lot in this video but the game is very good i highly recommend it when you die you either have to spawn at your spawn a point you have fully captured or a player in your squad and sometimes your squad members will be in combat and the game won't let you spawn on people in combat understandably so but this system is kind of wonky i don't know why but sometimes it seems to like bug out and a squad member will be out of combat for like 30 seconds and you still can't spawn on them and it's kind of just a minor annoyance because it's like i can see they're not in combat you're showing me them on the screen behind this menu and i can see they're not fighting anybody and they're fine let me spawn in please it's not a huge deal but it was definitely a minor annoyance for me but overall this game deserves the hype it is a really good game it runs for everybody it is a lot of fun in big groups of people the squads are really fun i highly recommend playing it it is 15 dollars on steam there is like little to no reason to not get this game if you like shooters and you were disappointed by battlefield 2042 this is this is your fix okay this is what you have been waiting for this is what battlefield 2042 could have been this game is well deserving of the hype it's received this game is well deserving it's 90 percent positive reviews on steam this game is just a banger and it's 15 dollars. this game is proof that AAA publishers are terrible at their jobs because this game wipes the floor with them okay battlefield 2042 what a joke you got beat out by a low polygon roblox looking thing okay you lost but what do you guys think of battle bit have you played the game have you enjoyed the game if you've played it and if you haven't played it well you give it a go because i think you should thank you for watching like and subscribe new click the entries now check out more of my content and have a good one